What's up, everybody? Lancer here. I'm going to do part two of my first impression of fortification. And yeah, we're going to we're going to delve into the actual new expansion parts. But first, as I was setting up to do this VOD, I noticed something really, really cool. So if you if you try to deploy uh, remotely, you don't see this. But if you go to a terminal, go to Ant, down here in the bottom right, you can hit Construction Preview and see all the construction stuff. Which is... That's awesome. I mean, that's really cool. If I do it here and... Okay, so if you go to the vehicle in your menu screen, you can do the same thing. I did not know that that was a thing. So, anyways, then I noticed when I was changing my classes that in the tactical slot, there are two modules that you can unlock here. So, the reason why I'm making this is because I'm going to go ahead and unlock everything. I really don't want to wait for a bundle to come out when I have all these certs I can spend. So, I'm going to do that instead. Let's go ahead and start unlocking stuff. Let's see how far I get. Accordion bomb and tunnel worm. The tunnel worm prevents buildings from repairing. But it only lasts for 60 seconds. And then there's the accordion bomb, which is now a module, but only lasts for 60 seconds. But it looks like it's only per per one building now but we'll we'll have to see so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna start unlocking everything start unlocking en mass should have enough and then decoration the light post. <laughs> That's low key. I'm really looking forward to seeing what that one is. Field tool favorites should be good to go. All right. So now let's go ahead and jump in the antenator. And let's build ourselves a base. So if you noticed, or maybe you didn't notice, but something I'm going to address in the, the video I saw Kami is that he, he mentioned he questioned the relevancy of construction and that was due to the fact that he hadn't quite seen many construction things happening since fortification well if you notice now the no deploy zone is much much smaller way smaller than it was before so here's the edge of the no deploy zone. I could build right here and I am less than 200 meters from that ammo tower. And in different parts, I could be 200 meters from a point, which means that I'm suddenly now much, oh, for some reason why I'm not getting coordinate. There we go. I guess it just didn't show properly, which means that a lot of the stuff that I have is super useful. Now, we're our back's up are against the wall. I'm not really looking to fight much this time around. Part three will probably be that. Now I'm looking to put everything together and see what we can do with it. So let's just go ahead and start over here and do that. So we're going to build ourselves a accordion silo. I want to put that bad boy right here underneath the trees. Low to the ground. Give it a low profile. Okay. Then let's dump some cording into it. As I said in my video from... Uh, my first impressions video, part one, I really like that they have the arrows that helps me push it up and down. The Howler still has the 
the cooldown, so that's still a thing. But apparently there is decay. It's just, I guess it works different. I'm going to do a video on inspecting the actual patch notes themselves, and then we'll we'll see what's up. How does it play versus how it's supposed to be playing ver per the patch notes. So let's go ahead and just put myself over there, and now let's start building. So I want to focus on the things that are new. Let's do... Let's do a command center. Has a spawn room. This one has a secure spawn location as well. So let's build a command center first. Holy smoke. This thing is, this thing is huge. Where's the entrance? I think it's right there. That looks like the entrance. That looks like an entrance. It's kind of hard to see a little bit. But it's good enough. Let's just go ahead and put it right at the very top to give us its full glory. And then let's go ahead and build a rebirthing center. Put that puppy over here. Come on. As high up as I can go. Whoa, I can go way high. Now that looks like Needs to be turned around. Actually, let's just do it this way. Oh, there's one. It's colliding with something. Whatever. Let's just put it down. And then let's build... A silo reserve, sure. Maybe put it over here. I bet you, though, is that you could probably put that on the edge near where another silo is and then just kind of go to town on it. Increase the maximum cordium held structure by 10,000, huh? I think that's cool. Let's actually... Reduces the turret heat. Don't need that. Firewall. No. Equipment terminal. Increases the structure's maximum health by 8,000. That's pretty cool. But let's do... Let's do this one. Install it in there. And I wonder... Can I do the same thing? Does this have a module too? No, no extra module. And then what else do we want? We want a skywall shield full show. This one we want a repair module. I'm actually wondering now how many repair modules can I put in here? Let's let's figure that out. Can I put in more than one? Oh, you already installed. In there three. Well, shoot. Can I override one? I guess not. Uh, let's keep going. An infantry awning? Sure. Let's build an infantry awning right up against me. Okay. Module dispenser. That This is the one I really want to figure out what it is. I don't really know exactly what it is, but... Oh, hello. Thanks, I guess. Sunder garage, vehicle bridge. Vehicle bridge. Huh. Let's 
Go and just put that bad boy right there. <laughs> All right, now what are you? You just spit out modules? Why? Why are you here? Why? What is this? What does this thing do? Let's go. Where did you go? Module dispenser. Module dispenser. There we go. To be used to create various modules for players to slot into sockets attached to structures. Once cordium is drained from the dispenser, it will replenish its cordium from the nearby silo. So is this saying that I can put corium into that? I guess. Okay, so here's a a bridge. Cool, cool bridge, cool. Oh, so now I gotta jump up on this one. So if I put it down a little bit more, then I won't have to jump up. Cool, good to know. Two module sockets. And, oh, oh, all right. And I can get through the top. That's cool. All right. Let's go ahead and see if I can put two repairs inside of it. How about that? See if it'll let me do it. So I can double up on the repairs and potentially do 1%. I don't know. We'll see in a second. These are some pretty big, pretty big ones, though. I think it'd be too easy. I, I do think they need to double step that that confirmation. And I can't. Okay, so I can't double up. Good to know. Does this let me do it? Nope. Oh. I do think that they should put a double... Uh, a two-step one for spinning certs. It's way too easy for me to spin certs on this on accident, and I definitely don't want to do that on purpose. All right, let's check this thing out. Steep uphill. Module. Oh, vehicle. Okay, cool. Let's go on the other side. more modules interesting this one has four oh and a shield I guess and a vehicle pad Let's see what the shield takes me to maybe a little command center oh rebirthing it's got it's it's also a rebirthing center. And then you just fall down. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can see what we can do about doing another repair into one of the upper slots maybe. Maybe the upper slots are different, so it won't let me install it there. But will it let me install you up here? Looks like a no. No, it won't. Thank you, my friend. All right, let's now. I want to put down some skywall shields.
I think I can put down multiple. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh. That. That is awesome. One and two. Now, what I'm instantly trying to figure out in my brain is when I put the the skywall shield at the bottom level, if I put it the second floor, does it go higher? That's something I'm wanting to know. What would I use this vehicle bridge for? <laughs> hmm. Those, again, should be dark lights. I think that'd be awesome. Okay. So let's... What else do we want to do? I want to do... What's a fortress shield? A large two-way projectile shield? Again, what is the point of a large two-way projectile shield? I don't get it. Shielded injury is that infantry can pass through, but not projectiles. Okay. Durability by... You know what I think I noticed? Oh, no, they do. I was about to say they looked like I could do multiple, but no, can't. So I can have three spawns right now. Four, if you count the router. Riding Spire. Light post. Yes, let's do the light post. What are you? You literally just light? And I can only have one of you? I'm fascinated to know more about that. Calls down orbital. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Purchasing another. I don't know what that means. Is there one already down here? I guess let's override it. Oh, oh. Okay. So I did that last night where I built one orbital dr mining drill. Okay, so let's. Oh. Here it comes. Now, did it take it away from me? Yes, it did. Interesting. Okay. Can I do something with it? Nope, I can get hurt by... Oh, nice. Now that is insanely useful. I'm telling you, I, th I think once the base builders get themselves around this, I'm already pretty impressed with what I think we can start doing with these things. You've now made base building self-sufficient, whereas before it was a very long sequential process. But now what I'm seeing is there's a bunch of things you could be doing in parallel but you have to have the teammates for it. I'm not even mad anymore that the AI modules are gone because if you have a team of base builders, then a lot of this could be fixed on its own. Man, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. So let's go check this one out. This is just everything else, right? Yeah, it is. So then now, let's go do this dispenser. So now we need to check the dispenser to see if I can put stuff into it. Yep, 
Thanks, buddy. I don't get it. Oh, a thousand. Five hundred. Do another five hundred. Do dispersion, maybe? Does it keep taking away from this guy? So 50,000, 253. So let's do you. 50,000. Yeah. Wait, no, no. 024. Okay. 49253. 49253. 49253. 48. Okay, so it does take away. From this, I don't have to test just how far out it goes, probably to the, the edge of the circle, but I don't know. All right, now let's go with. So here's what I want to know next. What I want to know next is. How far up? So it goes up just a little bit. Oh, OK, cool. Well, now we can figure out spawning. So this is um this is pretty cool. This is really cool. Okay, I should have just went up there. little test I want to do. Okay. So 55, 56 is where I am. All right, now let's take out this rebirthing. So it's 55, 56. All right, how do I go? All right, now we want to do another command center. As high up as we can go. And then I want to do a skywall shield. All right, so what we lost in AOE, we gained in diversity is pretty much what happened here. So we no longer have a repair module. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. So we no longer have like an AOE repair that will wrap a bunch of stuff around it. Now you have individual singular modules that only repair certain buildings. That's what it's starting to look like. So now what I want to do, if it was 55, 56, so now I want to, no, that's the one down. Is there a, uh, I guess I have to just wait for it to come up. Now what I want to check is if I can put it here, on the second floor, maybe there's one on the third floor, I don't remember. Then what I can do is I can just, oh man, this build animation is pretty cool, I'm a big fan. Then what I can do is figure out if the Skywall Shield will go higher, which will give me some extra diversity in what I can do with all lives. Okay. 
All right. Get in there. So how do I? It's got to be you. No, they're down here. All right, so it was 55 and 56. Let's see if it moved. I don't think it did. Looks like it's the same. We'll see, though. Nope, it's the same. So same length, which, you know, that's fine. No problem. Good to know. How about we just get this guy access? Ooh, Empire. Nice. So now I can see the permissions, which is... Thank you so much for doing that, Rel. I really appreciate that. So now I can just do it whole empire or squad or only platoon or lock it. Man, that's that's cool. That's very cool. Can I do the same thing here? Nope, negative. Can I do the same thing here? Negative. So it must be all of the buildings. Okay, now let's figure out what this is. What I want to know is... Projectile shield. Well, you know, I can pretty much guess what a projectile shield is. This is the one I want to know about. What does this do? Last for 60 seconds. Oh! It's like a citadel shield. <laughs> what? Huh. What else can I put this on? Can I put this on you? Oh, I already have two on you. I could put this on you, right? So you can replace. Oh my gosh, that is just too cool. So now it's its own Citadel shield. Now the interesting thing is, does it still have the, when it dies, does it still have the Skywall shield? Oh, no, it's back up again. Huh. Okay. So we can increase durability by a lot, actually. So I would put firewall and durability on it. Okay. All right, let's see what else we have. The tree stand, we already did that yesterday. Bridge, we did that now. Dispenser is fine. Which I guess... So everything is still the same except for the modules, mostly. The turrets are still... I think they're all the same thing. Not you. Let's put down anti-aircraft. Can I put you down next to each other? You still have the... Yeah, you still have the radius. Which is okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore, though, because the AI modules... So why, uh, I don't know, a little nitpick, but why is there a, a minimum radius when there's no longer AI? Ooh, the uplink changed quite a bit. Let's, let's take you out. 
Oh, this, man, the favorites is cool. I'm a big fan. I can just go with the favorites. Ooh, you can put modules? Huh. So you added modules. What I want is a skywall shield, and I know I'm going to want a, not projectile shield, fortress shield. All right, so this will tell me what it's compatible with. What can I put fortress on? Command, orbital, rebirth, sentinel, relay? Sentinel, relay? Here's the recon relay, which I don't think is the same thing. Does the routing spar have it now? Let's find out. All right, what is a sentinel relay? With that light post. Let's go check out that light post. <laughs> cool, I guess. If I really want to light up an area, but I can only have one. Yep, faction banner definitely want to star that one. Orbital... Oh, dang. There's a lot of new walls. I think it's taking away my repair tool or my welding device. Oh, okay. So it's still a little bit difficult, but, you know, all in all, not a big deal. The router changed a little bit. Can I still put the router in here? Yes, I can. Oh, gosh. Jeez. So if I could do that. Let's see about this. Can I do this? Oh my gosh. Whoa. No. Whoa. It's kind of exposed, but that's pretty interesting. You could put it here and it wouldn't be exposed. Oh my gosh, that's... There's a lot. Well, this is pretty impressive. I still need to figure out what this scan the area thing does. I don't exactly know what it scans for beyond what it's already doing. I don't know. Okay, there's a wide bulwark. Where's the gate? Blast gate. This one changed. It was a blast wall. Now it's a blast gate. Oh no, they kept the blast wall. But they kept it. And there's one bulwark. Single bulwark. This one has a module. Huh. I'm pretty impressed. I'm this was a good update. I'm impressed. This was good, man. So, but the towers aren't quite so useful anymore. I can already tell. It's not so important to get them up because they are manned. They have to be manned. All right, I'm going to put one of these bad boys down. A lot going on right here. Might not be able to make it.
There we go. Oh. Maybe it just didn't have it down enough? Nope. So I'll put that one down. So there's one. How come yours is gone? Hmm. Let's see how many we can put down at one time. I've always been a fan of Skywells. They help your base survive. Alright, there's two. Go ahead and put the third down. Oh, there's a disparity right there. Hmm. Three. This is cool, man. This is cool. All right, let's do a quick test on you. Okay, so it's noticeable. Oh, wow, okay, that's that's way noticeable. It's like twice the amount of lifespan, maybe three times the amount of lifespan. And it looks like it does it the same amount, but it's it's got life, doesn't it? Yeah. So not terribly useful unless you have, that's more like a second string usefulness. Okay. Where's the Sentinel Relay? Sentinel Relay. Sentinel Relay. Sentinel, no, no, no. Does this have a module? Can I put a module in there? Oh, let's put it over here. Yeah. We'll see if that has a module. We're almost done here. It's pretty cool. I like this a lot. Recording compass capacity. I don't think I could put it on you because you don't have one. Module already stall, so I can't put two down. Yeah. Just the silo. Eight thousand does seem like quite a bit of damage. All right, I don't see Sentinel Relay anywhere, but let's go ahead. One, two, three. Maybe I'll get lucky and see it. <clears throat> no. Ooh, I like that I can hover over that and see that. 
That's cool. Maybe Sentinel Relay isn't out yet. Hmm. Well, okay. So there is a module on this one. Okay, so I can't get the dart. I suppose I need something close to a module. I don't really know about this one. Glaive. No, no. No, 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 maybe durability, I guess. So I suppose the module is what I suppose the module is what activates it, I guess. All right, let's look at the flail. And then I think we'll be done. Yeah, the game's changed now for base builders, most definitely. No doubt about it, things have changed for base builders. So I, I look at it from how can I apply this in the game offensively as well as defensively, but how can I apply this in mass? That's what I'm looking at. And right now, so by the way, three different levels, good to know. Right now, what I see is I can have three Skywall shields by myself the test to see if other people can build their thing like rebirthing centers near me I can have what is it close to a hundred thousand cordium and I can call down a mining rig which will increase it even more so this is 25,000 and with the cordium jacker on it this is 40 so I can have how much more? Probably about 10 more. So 75,000 cordium that doesn't decay. That's that's pretty cool. I'll, I'll take the fact that there is no AI. That's fine. Okay, so I can't access it. All right. The biggest thing I'm going to have to see... I can already see is how to do the durability or the, how to do the modules, how to make that arrangement. And then I can start to see how the walls would be pretty useful in building bases now, whereas before they were kind of incidental. But you have so many walls and structures that can act as walls that it's just... Yeah, I'm now no longer have to build things to try and fit other stuff inside of it, which is what I've been having to do this whole time with the, the modules. And now I can actually focus on building a proper base. I think this is going to propose, this is going to cause the base builders to start organizing because just the sheer magnitude of what a base has to take now is, I mean, there's just, there's so much now. There's so much to do. That'll have to be part three. Part three, I'm going to push myself up against the front line because I've heard Reddit reports and, and posts that 
I should put a router up here. I heard, I saw posts that construction is just too weak. But with the durability of 8,000, I mean, so Fafnir, which is an AP, does about 850. And I can fire about every 0 0.2, 0 0.5 seconds. So I can put down mm, a few thousand. 0.5 seconds. What, was I, what am I saying? <laughs> Three seconds. I must have been thinking of the enforcer in my brain. So I can put down, I mean, with, with most of, a, a lot, a whole squad of, eh, with the whole squad of vehicles, that can be, you know, you can quickly cap 10,000 at that point. So the durability for the single modules ones, you know, might not be stellar. Does this give me anything? No. But, but, a lot of the modules give health. One of them gives five, one of them gives two, one of them gives eight. You can, you can quickly build up, and each one can have its own modules. You can very quickly build up a pain-in-the-ass base to take down with a team of people. That's the key. With a team of people, you can do it. All right. All right. I'm, I'm a believer now. I like this one. I like what we did here. What was I about to try out? It was... So you can only install one. But let's see how much. Only 10 minutes left before the alert ends. I'll probably just wait it out. How much health can I get? 8,000? 10,000, 12,000, 17,000. Twenty-two thousand. You can <laughs> if something had enough modules, you could up you could up one of the buildings by twenty-two thousand hit points. This one doesn't tell me how many hit points it has. We'll have to find out. I'll ask in the base builder Discord. What did I just say? 27,000? So one, two, three, four, right? This one has four. Yeah, this one has four. So you could probably up it close to... So if it has four, there's... One of them ha requires that you keep it in for 60 seconds. But, I, you know, I could suppose I could just keep doing that. So I could put in a heavy rep. I could put in a durability. So it's 13,000 right there. 13,000. What else? 18,000. So now I'm at 18,000. And... 20,000. I could up that thing by 20,000. Jeez. All right, I'm going to have to test this thing out on, on the front lines and see if everyone else is... what everyone's saying about how... Just to figure out what everyone is saying about how the, all these things are weak. I did see a few of that. Uh, someone tweeted it, and I asked them, is that for real, or are you memeing? And they said, it's definitely for real. Man, this is, this is neat. I'm a big fan now. I did notice, though, that the sky wall shields are smaller now. So there's a lot more room for air to just kind of pummel you. But with three shields, three fortress shields, you can probably cover most of this base. And with rep and durability, I mean... 
you could pretty much create a, a fairly self-sufficient base now. Now, I'm super interested to see how can inf enemy infills come in and just wreck your stuff. You already know that they can come in with tunnel worms. They could come in with cordium bombs. I wonder, do they have the ability to replace my modules? Like I can replace my own? If so, then okay. That's a pretty, that's a pretty interesting counter to a base. You stop it from repping. You put in a accordion bomb. You can do some damage. Also notice that there's no, no respawn timer or a despawn timer on my ant now. I have to check a look in the patch notes. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. There really isn't much of a fight going on, but I'll maybe at after the switch of the continent. It'll change up. And yeah. Nice job. I am I'm very impressed with the uh, the quality of this update for base builders. Alright everybody. Lands are out.